Yes, yes, people, we are back live. We are back live on the Sarcasm City TV YouTube for another Sarcasm City Sports Q&A. And for those that haven't seen the Sarcasm City Sports Q&As before, it's where you lot in the comments run the show. You get to ask any sporting question, past or present, people. So get your questions in. It can be football. It can be basketball. It can be boxing. It can be NFL. It can be F1. Whatever you want to ask about, get your questions in. If you are a member of the channel as well, your questions take priority like a super chat so if you remember i will start your question and i will get to it that is one surefire way to make sure your question gets read out and answered secondly if you want your question to make sure your question gets read out as well super chat people there are the two surefire ways big up to make sure your question gets read out big up to everyone who's joined over from the raid on lewis's channel big up to lewis every single time larger all of the sarcasm city tv community as well over 85 of you lot in the building let's bump up the likes man let's bump up the likes people only at 16 likes let's double let's just let's double that you know what i'm saying let's actually just less than double that let's get up to like check sorry like check one two one two people let's get up to 30 likes uh get them questions in please share this across all the socials as well and on top of those two things subscribe to the channel sarcasm city tv as well make sure you hit the subscribe button because i know some of you lot are new here uh big up to mk says big up the man then big up out of context sarcasm city says gang business ashwin says you think potch will attract spurs players to chelsea I don't see anyone from Spurs he would want, but if he could, I suppose he could. Big up Stephanie G, big up Ashwin. What's my highest Manchester United moment? What, in this season or in life? Uh, big up to Jacob as well. Dominic says, big up Flawless. Let's see if Miami plays a better game tonight. Yeah, I've, um, Ahmed will be holding that down on the Twitch, I believe. Big up to Dan G. Big up to, I can't even pronounce your name, but big up to you, my guy. Uh, Bailey says, big up uh, that guy who what? Who's that? I don't even know. A hey, big up to Victor every single time. Big up to life as well. Like I said, you lot continue to get your questions in. Let's bump up these likes and let me see if we've had any new subscribers as well. We're only at 27 likes. I did ask for 30. Let's go to 40 now because we've just had some new people join as well. Um, where are we at? Where are we at? 6,622. We're looking for three new subscribers, people. Only three new subscribers, and there's just under 100 of you lot in the building. So let's bump that up. Let's bump that up, people. What are we doing as well? And get your questions in. I even forgot to mention the title. A lot's gone on, and there is going to be a lot going on with this transfer window in regards to Manchester United, in regards to Chelsea, Arsenal, Liverpool, uh, Spurs, Manchester City. And as you can see from the title, Chelsea pull out of the Manuel Agate race and uh, Pastor Coglu to become new Tottenham Hotspur manager. So I'm sure there will be questions on both of those things. It seems surefire that Agate was on his way to Chelsea, but reports have stated today that Chelsea didn't want to pay the money. And PSG, he seems PSG banned PSG bound right now. And as for Pastor Coglu, don't know a lot about him, but now Spurs have finally actually got a manager. To Dominic, who says thoughts on Shannon Sharp leaving Skip Bayless. I didn't watch the show like that. I only seen it in clips, but it seemed from people who I know who watched it that it was time. I don't know how much of that on the camera stuff was like for the show or if there was genuinely animosity behind the scenes. Because people get those two things uh, confused. Like you can have two people who are debating and get into heated arguments and people can think, oh, they have an issue. And then off camera, they're fine. Or that can be going on on screen and then off screen, it's an issue. It's like, for instance, me and Ryan on Shameless at times. Like that's a little bro. We have no issues outside of, you know what I'm saying, live streaming. But people thought we did. Same with me and Sam on Battle of the North. It may get heated, we may disagree, but there's no issues I have no issue with either of those two outside of what's it called outside of streaming. Like we're only talking sports. It's really not that big of an issue. But yeah, let us know your thoughts, people. Surprisingly quiet. Hey, what are you saying, Victor? Victor in particular, what's your thoughts? You said, what's up, niggas? I'm saying, what's your thoughts? And then Chelsea pulling out of the Agate race. Big up Time to Shine. Big up Black Diamond. I don't know why he's got the, the, the Mason Mountain. I don't know what's going on there. Um... Everton showing interest in Veghorst. I did see this. I did see this. Man said Spurs are done. I don't know about that. Spurs are already done. Uh, do you think PSG is this year? For... Do you think PSG is... You'll have to answer. ask this again, please, Thomas, and I'll get to it. Sebastian says, you think Manchester United can return to winning silverware or not? Nah? We won silverware this year. 
So Manchester United always invest enough to win silverware. Always invest enough. And the team's always always good enough to win some form of silverware. Top honours, no. But your FA Cups, League Cups, Europa Leagues, yes. We're always good enough to compete for those trophies. Yeah, Alam, um, I did get it wrong with the times in regards to the game. Ahmed said he's going on. Ahmed did say he's going on. So, yeah, I will tweet that out. Obviously, Alam, if you're still signing and you want to start, feel free to join Ahmed over there. Feel free. So, yeah, Ahmed said he's going on. So, that should be starting. But, Alam, if you want to start, feel free. It's all set up. Uh, to Lucas, who says 70 million for Agate with high wages, that it would be worth it, to be honest. Your fan base seemed on it. Like I said, I've not watched him, but in terms of the profile, I, I would have took him at United because of the profile. And 70 million is a steal for a player who who improves your first team. That's that's improve your first team money. You know what I'm saying? Yep, see, and Alam, see these people always running at the same time. So if you want the NBA content, um, the Denver Nuggets, Miami Heat, watch along game two NBA finals. Alam, Ahmed, and some of the gang gang will be over on the Sarcasm City TV Twitch. So make sure you download the app and follow anyway. Make sure you're supporting over there as much as you lot are supporting here. Malcolm says, flawless thoughts on the Kim Min Jae situation. What's, what's happened? What's changed? Enlighten me, enlighten me. Dominic says, uh, Nagelsmann might go PSG. Maybe they're trying to do a proper rebuild. Well, if they're trying to sign Agate, Agate and Variety midfield is good on paper. Well, it sounds good on paper, I should say. It's what do they do with the... From Messi's already gone. What do they do with Neymar and Mbappe? Because I think you can build around one of those two. Obviously, I'd, you'd go with Mbappe because he's younger and the better player. But either one of those two. Then it says, Flawless thoughts on Benzema leaving. End of an era. Yeah, man. Sad end of an era. One of the greatest front threes we've ever seen with him, Bale and Ronaldo. Um, one of part of one of the greatest teams we've ever seen and one of the greatest strikers of all time. So, yeah, man. Sad to see him leave, but at least he's not bowed out like not. He's not bowed out and he's way past his best. Like, man won the Champions League just last season. He won Copa del Rey this season. Like, he cemented his legacy, cemented him one of the greats. 110% one of the greats. Lucas says, would rather have Casado for 80, 90. Those 10 to 20 million extra is definitely worth it. You don't need both. That's the thing is, as a Chelsea fan, which you are, Lucas, I'm guessing by your... You don't need two midfielders. You not only need Agate and Casado, or you need Casado and... Only midfielders you have who are of the quality that you need currently is Enzo Fernandez. What's the rest of your midfield? Jorginho's already gone. Kovacic is leaving. Mount's leaving. loftus Cheek is leaving. Gallagher's not good enough. You don't need a lot of you don't need a lot in midfield, so it's it's not a question of one or the other. You need multiple. What question did I miss of yours? What's this? All right, again, members, this is your time. If you're a member of the channel, and the link for the membership is in the pin comment, I will get straight to your question. And of course, if you super chat, I'll get straight to it as well. Let's bump up the likes because over 120 of you are in here. We're only at 34 likes. Get up to. We're about 50 likes. So, you know, I'm only asking for small jumps. Like, check, one, two, one, two. Hit that like button expeditiously, people. 50 likes. Flawless wanted to know who you think Manchester United's best player sales based on big transfers feed received for a mediocre player or a player that went and flopped. Huh? What do you mean? Let me see. Oh, players that we sold and then went on to do business. Who do we sell? I can't remember. I don't really follow players after they leave here. I'm not really fussed. Like, once they've gone, they've gone. Obviously, Cristiano Ronaldo is the obvious one. Sold him for 80 million, and we all seen what he did at, um, at Real Madrid. But other than that, I don't remember players leaving. I know Yap Stam had, was successful. I believe you want to say ah, after we left. But yeah, that's it. You know what I'm saying? That's it. I've heard... What's this? Bear with me. Bear with me, people. I've heard he's planning to say goodbye to Napoli fans and Manchester United is the most likely destination for him. I hope we sign Kim min -Jay. That's a big, big step in the right direction. To Lucas, who says, if we play a pivot quoted by Poch and two starting midfielders, Enzo Casado, then I wouldn't pay 70 million for Agate to sit on the bench. You want competition for places. Why is it Enzo and Casado? Why can't it be Enzo and Agate? Or why can't it be Agate and Casado? You want options. I just don't get that. 70 million is nothing for a player who is 
of first team quality and can also come off your bench. I'd sign him. I'd sign both of those. Casado and Agate, 110%. Let's say United can only address two to three areas. Which do you take? All. I'm not with this one or the other. We've got to address all our areas. Goalkeeper, midfield, and attack. Got to address it all. Have to address it all. Big Celtic fan here, flawless. Uh, big up to you. Says uh, he loves Ang uh, Pasta Coglu. I think he'll do a great job at Spurs. Fans need to be patient, but his playing style is scalable with better players. Well, it's gonna. We're gonna find out. Big up to you, Stephen, as well. Big up. Newcastle want Kim Min Jae too. Hey, just blow them out of the water and do what we need to do. It's Manchester United versus Newcastle United. Do what we need to do. Then it says, Flawless, who do you see Madrid getting in the summer? I hope Oshiman or Kane don't want Gonzalo, Ramos or Vlahovic. Who do I see Madrid getting in the summer? I'd... Kane fits the bill. For what Real Madrid want to do and try to do, Kane does fit the bill. It's that Galactico, like going to take the, one of the best players from the Premier League, which you lot have done, in, done for many a years, and he fits what you're trying to do. Is he as good as Benzema? No, but they're a similar profile. So I would say it's probably Kane. Yeah, like you said, I hope Ashiman or Kane don't want Gonzalo Ramel. So I've like, I see that. I think Kane's the most likely. Why can't we play Martinez with cash just like Pep does with Stones and Rodri sometimes? Because we don't have Manchester City's players. That's why. That's why we can't. Yeah, got you ready. I'll send it through to you now. Because we don't have Manchester City's players. So that's why we can't do that. Plus, I want Martinez playing centre back. I don't want him playing DM. It's like the news that came out on um on Saeed's channel and it was like, oh, Manchester United are looking for a left winger. And that could mean Rashford playing up front. It's like, why is Rashford playing up front? Why is why why is Rashford playing up like playing left wing where he's best at? And this is where he's best at. He's a left winger. Bear me, people. Continue to get your questions in. Just send it out these links. That's all. Always working while I'm working, people. You already know. Here's Cotton on. I don't know why this guy just ain't sent this out. Yes, Victor. What are you saying, man? You good? Yeah, I'm good, man. Just tired. Working all weekend. I'm fucking not good. My phone's plugged in. And I can't hear no wonder I can't hear you. <laughs> My bad, fam. Yeah, what are you saying, man? You good? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I said I'm, I'm working all weekend. I'm knackered. Oh no, man! Hey, thoughts on the Gatti? Talk to us. Um, I don't really have any thoughts on it. Um, I'm not as pissed as everyone else is. Um, okay. I've never, to, I put my hands up. I've never, I've never watched a game. Even the Arsenal game, I didn't watch it. I've not watched a game of him play. I don't know how good he is, but obviously the profile is what we need. But if there's mm -hmm. someone has a similar profile but it's cheaper, I wouldn't mind if you go for a cheaper option. My personal opinion, and has the same profile. Which is why I think, which is why I think, what we're gonna do, it makes sense. But sometimes something Chelsea don't make sense. But to me, like if if they if they value him at this price and they want to go higher, I respect him more than just going higher just because someone else wanted. Like if you if you fully feel he's not at this price and then you think, okay, if I don't get this guy, cool, we will just get someone mm -hmm. else cheaper with a similar profile. I wouldn't be that upset with it as long as we get like someone with a similar profile. I'm fine, but if then if you overpay for what we should have got Ogarty for for a similar profile, I'll be pissed. I'll be fuming like that. All right, first, first. Yeah. Um, Dennis says, Flawless, do you think the Champions League teams in the summer must spend to compete in the Champions League next season because City will get better and they'll probably spend in the summer? Yes, everyone needs to invest. Everyone's got to invest. All the Premier League sides, Bayern Munich, you can see there where they need to invest. PSG, you can see where they need to invest. Napoli will go again. Everybody needs to invest because nobody's the finished uh, product. Yes, Eddie, what are you saying, fam? You good? I'm good, man. Just getting a little Sunday dinner in right about now. Uh, <laughs> my fault. You can hear me eating shit. It's all good, man. What's your thoughts on this? Chelsea have pulled out of this uh, Manuel Agate deal. And it seems he's going PSG now. Oh, it's lovely. Fuck Chelsea. I mean, seriously, you know, especially especially this little this little cute little fan base we have on this channel. <laughs> All these fucking Mount and uh and United jersey. Should have put a Ugate in a fucking Chelsea jersey. Oh, my fault. Shit wouldn't hit no more, huh? 
But hey, hey, all, all of this talk, all of this talk. But when Money Mineral signs for the for Old, Old Trafford, and I see him at um fucking what's your shit training guard called again? I forgot what it's hey, called. Hey, Once hey. I see him there, first off, shout out my bro. dog. Secondly, fuck you, Victor. How about that? Huh? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, Money on his way, man. It's crazy. It's don't hate, don't, bro, bro. Don't hate, don't hate the messenger, bro. I'm just you know what's crazy? Hmm. You know what's crazy? Go on, After fam. Saturday, I really don't give a fuck. After <laughs> what I see Saturday, I genuinely do not care. Oh shit, we haven't spoken since the FA Cup final, have we? Eddie? We spoke no. before it, right? No. Ah, shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let yeah, me that's... let me say this and make it clear. More fun. If any of you people in the chat decide to fucking single out a player to fit your fucking agenda, <laughs> it's crazy. I'll it? cease to acknowledge you on this platform. <laughs> oh, Jaden Sancho, and like, we knew it was gonna be the iced out drip ones that got it first. I fucking knew it, bro. Every mm. player that got sauce, United fans cannot cope with. It's legit like you have to show up in a fucking polo and uh and Cole's khakis in order to play for Manchester United. And let me be the first. And I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show some right now. I'm gonna show what we call accountability to mm. all the people who I defended this fuck boy known as David De Gea. To all the people. I defended him in, in front of. I apologize. I was wrong. I was. That I, was, I, was I mean, that. Yeah, that second goal was criminal. The, 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 say, but, but the that. did you see what he was doing for a good twenty minutes in the first half? Mm -hmm. I don't talk about it. From talk about it. He was kicking it to them. <laughs> let me let me be clear. Okay, you know what? Back line. I have no smoke for you whatsoever. That was not that. That was not that. Literally, Lindelof, okay, it's unlucky. But then he's just heading it. And we hmm. talked about this flawless. I told you this shit. You did say this. You Gun did. movement is crazy. It's out of this world. Somehow, some way, he finds the opening. And I can't find anyone marking him 30 seconds into the game. Yeah, you're right. You should be in front. It's been every one, shit. every one of them shit. I'm willing to say this right now. This is how bad you think it is, Flawless. Go on, talk about I'm, it. I'm saying it now. Mason Mount is better than every midfielder we have at Manchester United, and I don't care. I'll take <laughs> him just winning a Champions League that makes him better. I'm I'm on that shit, bro. I'm on. That's what I'm on. That's what I'm about right now. Right about now, because we, to just be some scrubs, bro, in a. And it happens all the time. I'm a fan. I don't want to talk too long because everybody got to get a chance to talk about this. But mm -hmm. to generally, bro, to be scrubs when it matters. Yo, you broke up. Say that again. Did he break up um, for you too? Yeah, he broke yeah. up. Can I just say? Can I just say? Mason Mount also bottled us two finals last year. So I wouldn't think that would make a massive difference. Oh, I yeah, don't, he's, listen, he's, I he's got trash. cut off, but I think my shit froze. Yeah, 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 you did. Yeah, froze. yeah go on, go on. Froze. Oh. I think I froze, froze again. You froze did. again, bro. Yes, Taz, what are you saying? Are you good? Yes and no. Talk about I'm I, I'm good personally, but this shit still got me hot. Oh, yeah, shit. Because I forget that I've not spoken. I spoke to you, man, like in the comments, but I didn't speak to you, man, about it like on a live. But yeah, go on. Go on, fam. Go on. Bro, go. my... And I'm just going to cuss them the fuck out in my con my connectivity is awesome <laughs> on some Manchester United yeah, yeah. fucking yeah, shit. Yeah. Fucking yeah. bum. <laughs> yeah, he's fuming. Yeah, he's fuming. <laughs> he's so fuming. Bro, I'm the same. Like, I... When I start... When I start... Oh, my God. All right. I just... I'll, I'll wait for Eddie to go and then... No, I'll go once. Yeah, because Eddie having to... Hey, Eddie, jump out and jump back in the stream. And no, you no, no. All right. <laughs> I let Taza, I was gonna let Taza cook because I want to go for 30 more minutes. And I want to get a chance. 
right, cool. Yeah, yeah. Before you can tell it, before you go, yeah, to people who've asked about it as well, the NBA watch along is going down on the Twitch right now. So the gang gang is holding it down on the Sarcasm City TV Twitch. Um, Denver Nuggets, Miami Heat game two, NBA finals. But yeah, go on, Tazo. Yeah, bro. So let's start with this, right? I, I said it yesterday. For that for us to win this win that shit, they they had to have an off day. We had it we had to be good slash great. They had their off day. We like that's the that's what hurts the most, bro. We couldn't pull our part. And Lindelof from the jump is fucking being a pussy, bro. It's fucking soft. What is that clearance? He cleared it straight to fucking Gundogan. Like, bro, this t- to start a game like that, 13 seconds in. And I'm not gonna blame De Gea for the first goal because that was just a that was just an amazing strike by yeah, Gundogan. Cool strike. And and but after that, bro, like every single time we played it back to him, he fucking gave it away to the opposition. Bro, he was kicking it straight back to Ortega. And you saw, bro, that is not even Manchester City's number one. That's their mm-hmm. backup. And he is like you could see miles clear. He was miles clear of De Gea on that day. And that's a damning indictment. When he was sweeping, when he was cl- coming for crosses, all of that. Bro, there was balls in our six-yard box. It was a, it was like two yards away from us, and this guy wasn't t- collecting the ball. And 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 what and what this thing is, right? Like players, some players thrive off confidence, right? Like Rashford, he's a confidence player. When he's hot, this motherfucker will score everything. Like when he did in that stretch in February, March. But you can't have a confidence keeper, bro. You need your keeper to be level-headed and consistent. And this guy is a bottle job. Weak mentality. Time and time again, in our in the biggest stages, he fucking lets us down. Sevilla, our biggest game since Europa League final under Jose in 2017. Our biggest game since. Quick, the game quick. I was... I'm not excited to interrupt sorry. you. I had a question. Yeah, go I ahead, sorry. Go ahead. Name off the top of your head all the times that, okay, I'll be fair, that I ignored that you remember of him actually genuinely costing us a fucking game. Bro, the Europa League? Because uh, I feel uh, like it's a longer list, bro. I just wasn't trying bro. to acknowledge it, but I feel like it's a longer list than just those games that you mentioned. Bro, bro, it's a long list. Oh, like, no, let's no, not forget no. West Ham. Yeah, yeah. West Ham. Bro, the the I would say even I know we City away, we got slapped a lot, right? But two or three of them goals, this this brother was on his ass for no fucking reason. That that KDB cross that he went Holland stretched out, got that back stick, that motherfucker could have collected it. And it's not even that, right? When he when shit goes wrong for him at the start, bro, you could see it piling on. Like he has such a weak mentality. That for the rest of this game, it affects him. Bro, they had two shots on target, two goals. The second one, oh my god, bro. Like, the ball bounced twice before it went in the goal. Twice. And his reactions, bro. People, oh, he has great reactions. That's one of his strengths. What the fuck was that? This guy just giving the ball away. You could see Casemiro asking for the ball. Please give me the fucking ball so I we can play ball. Nope, I'm just gonna hoof it long. It out of the 26 balls he played, only eight of them were successful. And qu- those quote unquote successful, uh, you know how they how they count that? If it hits a United player's head, not that even we win it and we continue playing on. So 26 times basically we lost possession because he gave it away. Bro, what's the point then? Every fucking time we go back to him, he's just kicking it to the other team. It's it's it, like we cut we you know, you know we cause Bruno you, for bro. losing we cause Bruno for losing possession right. I'm, not, I'm this not guy does him. it more than him. This I'm guy does it more than him. And this is bro. He sees the whole pitch. We cuss all these guys. That's not. Uh, that's why I'm not even getting on to any of the other players before I get on to this guy, bro. Like, in our biggest moments, bro, letting us down game after game after game. Mm-hmm. Like, fucking bottle job, weak mentality. And now they want to give him a new deal. Like, Fuzz, just like you said, the Mason Mount thing, right? There's no positives to this deal. Giving David De Gea a new contract is there's no positives. 
He's on 375 grand. So you're going to so okay, oh, he's going to be the number 2 next season. So you're going to give a backup goalkeeper 100 to 150 grand? Like who does that? The best goalkeeper in the world currently, Allison, he's on 180. So we're going to pay him that much money to sit on our bench. Let's say we let's say hypothetically cuz well, what these guys argue, well, we could keep him he's a club legend, sentimental, all this bullshit, bro. Mm-hmm. Same thing they tried to do with Ronaldo, cause just because he's a club legend. Like, what the fuck? He's ca- it's like, at first it was like, oh, he at first he doesn't help us. But now he's literally costing us big games. An FA Cup final. What, what do we hold our, what do we hold our head on, right? Every, a lot of teams in England have won a Champions League. A lot of Premier League clubs. But no one's done the trouble yet. And we had the fucking chance to stop him. And and our goalkeeper was fucking playing against us that day. Literally playing against us. To the point where Rafael Varane went up to him. There's a video. You could see Varane telling him to calm down. Yeah, it was Saeed 20 mentioned minutes this. In. Saeed and Double A, because they were there. They said they could see this on the Bro, he was there. telling him, calm down, pass yeah, him the fucking ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, guy, yeah. and, and mm-hmm, so, so, so that's why, it's like, fuck it. FA Cup final happened, whatever, you know. There's nothing we can do about it. So now moving forward, you want to give him a new deal. That's where my issue is, bro. Like, that's, for that's what? That's yeah. For what? Because yeah. FA Cup final, we can't do nothing about it, right? We, mm-hmm, we can't mm-hmm. nothing do about it. We can't do nothing yeah. about it. But yeah. moving forward, we can do something. Yeah. Bro, what, what is, like, he's not, he's not a leader. This motherfucker, Bruno Fernandez, Harry Maguire, were the captain ba- uh, captain's armband over him. He's he's gotten the armband stripped over him. I'm not hearing the leader bullshit. The good mm-hmm. guy in the dressing room hype. I'm not hearing that bullshit. All right. He is a weak. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, what's I up? forgot about that part. I forgot about that part. That's how you know we're shit. We mm-hmm. went into an FA fucking final with Bruno Fernandez as the fucking captain, bro. And me, bro. And God, please. This shit. I'm telling you what, bro. Oh, oh, oh. Keep cooking, Retizer. My fault, dog. My fault, bro. No, no, no. Like, good, yeah, bro. I know you might got a lot to get off your chest. So, yeah. Again, before you know, Taz, just hold that. You mm-hmm. lot continue to get the questions in. Members, I will start your questions and get to them, even if it's not on this topic. And let's bump up the likes. Over 160 of you lot in here. Only at 54 likes. Get us up to 80 likes, people. Like, check, one, two, one, two. Please subscribe to the channel as well. Make sure you do that. And we're live on both channels because the Dons are holding it down on the Twitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm Ahmed Daniel for the Heat Nugget. Denver Nuggets Miami Heat Game 2 NBA Finals That watch along is going down on the Twitch right now Link for the Twitch is underneath in the description as well Yeah, go on Taz, continue, continue. Yeah, yeah. Uh, again And, you know, this this guy So there's there's no way We should be giving this guy a new deal Like, no serious club No sane person No sane person does this Why? For what? You're just adding on to the wage bill For nothing Waste of space Legit. Like, okay, so you want to do that? Play him in the cups so we can fucking lose them? Ain't you trying to win? What the fuck? Ain't the point of those cups trying to go and win them? What What if we go to penalties? We have fucking De Gea in penalties then. We all know how that story turns out. Europa League final. This motherfucker didn't save any, but then missed his. Bro, there's legit nothing, no positives for this shit. He is worse than, like, he is one of the worst keepers in the league when it comes to distribution, cross-claiming, anything that doesn't have to do with shot-stopping. And now, even his quote-unquote shot-stopping, where he's world-class and one of the best in the league at, yeah. Even that's derailing. Yeah, and just to, just he's, to, to cut you he's off not doing well, that I no see, more. I see some people in the chat. Let's just get it straight. Yes, there's more people at fault for that second goal, but De Gea should save that. Gundogan shinned it on his weaker side from outside the box. De Gea does not move his feet quick enough because if he does, he got a hand on it anyway. He's further across the goal. That was shocking. Wait a, minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Y'all really want to bring up Varane and shit? Y'all really want to bring up Varane for that second goal? Are you serious? People, it bounced twice. Yeah, they did. Did you see the goal, people? I, did you see the goal? It wasn't. It went in slow motion. 
he was fucking asleep. His feet were pretty much still until like he mm-hmm. listen, brother. Like if you see, you can see that pass coming through and where it's about to end. Why would you like you'd line yourself up to at least close that part of the goal off? If he right. makes a worldie scoring across from you, shake his hand. It is what it is. It bounced twice. It wasn't even, it wasn't even, he didn't really strike it all that great. De Gea was Facts, you know, he, sh- he was shocking. It was shocking. And just to say as well with people, we're not talking about De Gea overall. We're talking about De Gea within this game solely. The criticism that ten that ten oh. the criticism that Taza and Eddie and myself are talking about in particular right now are his his performance in this game solely. Like, do we believe he's good enough overall? No, but we're talking about the FA Cup final in particular. He should save that. Not hearing no nonsense whatsoever. He should save that. Look at his reaction. He knows he should save that. It got shanked on, it was shinned on Gundogan's weaker side from the edge of the box. That was not going at a quick pace. You know what I'm saying in that? Like, let's not do it under. And and he thought Ali he was about to get away with it. Yeah, and he keeps talking about all the saves that De Gea's made to get us top four. No one's saying De Gea hasn't made crucial saves. No one is saying that De Gea hasn't played well in games. FA Cup against Fulham, he made two world-class saves. No one's disputing that. He's not good enough anymore. Simple as that. Weak ass Go on, call, carry on. Right? He's just not it's good a enough. Weak ass call. You know what I'm saying? Just not good enough. Yeah, That's not, I mean, again, you can, you can, listen, I give you that, right? I give you that if you want to talk about this game. Well, I, I needed to have people oh. understand is this. He has been the one, my fault, he has been the one constant mm. in some of the worst performances Manchester United has ever put across. If you name yeah. our worst performances, who's in between the sticks? He is. So he's a part of the pro- problem. He's not exempt from this. His share is his fault, is his issue that he cannot allow us to sustain in any type of possession when the ball comes to him. Mm-hmm. He's not even an aggressive goalkeeper. He's not an aggressive goalkeeper. Got you, got you. All- all these conversations we're having about how, how the this is no longer the night. You're breaking up, Eddie. You're hella breaking. He's Eddie. involved you're breaking, in that conversation. You're breaking, Eddie. Eddie. He's still you're stuck bro- in 2013. Eddie, you're breaking up from when he got the guard up. of honor. From it's really people. It's not. It's yeah, yeah. Eddie was hella breaking up <laughs> in that. Yes, Blood Diamond. What are you saying? You good? Yeah, well, I'm good. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. What's this red diamond stuff going on? What have I missed? When did this? When did you transform? What happened? Hey, I, I, I messaged you, man. You didn't read the message. Nah, I Listen. didn't. Go on. What was it? Oh. <laughs> I missed Listen. it. Eddie, Eddie will testify. I would have spoken to Rance and Eddie mm-hmm. two months ago and let my concerns be known. And I wasn't seeing it here. You know, even at the end, them was like, nah, too early, nah, too early. I said, listen, mm-hmm. you have to face it in reality. Now, only talking about the Glazers and whatnot. You see, if a man stands by his principle, any owner or club that acts in it to compromise your principles, be man enough to walk away Agreed. instead of accepting bullshit and mediocrity. So here, here what it is, right? People want to know if this is a Ten Hag signing, if Mount is a, is a Blazer signing, a Ratcliffe, because the Ratcliffe thing is, as I said earlier, for four seasons, he was a Chelsea season ticket holder. He tried to purchase, purchase Chelsea. What would be greater than taking over Manchester and bringing Chelsea's star boy across? So it could be if it's Ratcliffe, it could be no respect related here. It could be Yeah, that's what uh, speculation. Uh, yeah, ownership sign or whatnot. In any event, it's a bullshit sign. But I'm preparing for the worst. You yeah, know? Mm-hmm. Because regardless of all the things, 
I still want to give the man a little chance before I say the proverbial, because as I said, I raise concerns two months ago. So prepare him for the worst, you know? Yeah. I want to prepare for the worst, and the season start with, hmm, anytime I see the season start, with the gear as the starting goalkeeper and Mason Mount next to Bruno Fernandez. And we I say, what, hey, we know what I'm still is. going to give the manager a chance. You know, when I say, I'm still going to give the manager a chance, you know what they're going to say? Warm ah, he's a, he a top red. Yeah, this, yeah, that. So I prepared for the worst, my brother. Oh, I still I give call this back. early. Yeah, I still if give Ten Hag is of integrity, if no, but flawless, if mm -hmm. you always maintain that. If a man is of integrity and principle, and it, yeah. you are asking to compromise him, leave the fucking job. I agreed. Agreed. That's why I hold. Good. I will hold him. I will hold Ten Hag accountable if we do indeed. Very well. I don't. I don't hear. Oh, it's the ownership. I don't use that. Like yes, they don't help. But once you then become compliant, then you're also part of the problem. So that's what. That's why I'm talking about that's why I don't walk away. Of your defeat. I'm talking about walking away before things fall apart. Yeah, before you yeah, even yeah, feel. Because you once, you want, once a I man, do. right, with the job I do, once a man compromises his integrity, you are going to leave my unit. There's no chance you stay. I ain't going to wait for me to go there for somebody to die for us failing to say, well, you made a mistake. No, you yeah, walk. Yeah. 100%. And if 100%. I don't get to run my unit in that capacity with my integrity, I walk. Yeah, that's right. So I'm that's already right. seeing compromises. This all is speculation, but change in philosophy. It is a bullshit signing. I I, I don't if, think I don't think he's changing his philosophy because I believe Mount is him. I believe. No, well, I I I highly disagree. I don't, I don't think you don't and, think he wants me. No, I think it's him. I think it's because when you look right. at the other players, they fit that style. All right, Rabiot so listen. Rabio is more Mount than he is at the Young. The Young's the only midfielder. And that is why. The when you look at the other, that, all the attacking players we've been linked to has been a pace and power team. What technical? And that is why I to? see. That is why I see it is a change in philosophy. And that's cool. Advitas. That's cool. You can do that. Right. So Advitas at Ajax at Bayern Munich. This man is positional play fluidly. Now you're buying Google and press type of people that if Rans Rans philosophy is true that this man is turning from positional play to buying more P and P players mm -hmm. to deal with City like club. Now what yeah. people fail to realize there's something called tactical periodization, mm -hmm. which is Mourinho one that they have P and P players but they sit back. If you notice, Liverpool in the pump was P and P, but he had possession. Yeah, you exactly. could have P and P and possession. 100%. It's just that I, I am wondering if this man is actually, for the first time in his life, totally detaching from his philosophy of positional play like the Zerbi and Pep. Because find out. these, yeah, these P and P, you're supposed to have P and P players. What I'm saying in a positional play aspect, normally you'll have more highly technical players surrounded by a sprinkle of few PMP players. Yeah. Anytime the majority of your players are PMP, is either you're going to gun press or tactical periodization. Mm -hmm. So when you see um, come July, I say, you know, I'm giving this manager some time. This, if you want to see what? You're yeah, top red. So I take in front me for a front take. Uh, yeah, that's Minerals, a money. Yeah, yeah, but you understand now. I because guess, you know yeah, why? I'm, I'm being sarcastic. This is sarcasm, yeah, fucking city. Mm -hmm. So it is the ultimate it. sarcasm. All right, good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't have no, like I said, I don't have no issues with him changing his philosophy. I have no problem with that whatsoever. My problem, I said, I've said this from the jump. My problem with Mount isn't the profile, it's the player. If you're going to go and do the pace, if whatever style you're going to go and do, go and do the best, in, go and do the best case. Go get the best player for that. So whether it's possession based exactly. or it's pace and power or it's something else, go get the best players in class to go and do that. If you just yes. want to go energy and athleticism and players that cover ground, cool. Just go get the best in class in that. Um, to see what you said this and time to shine and we get to that flawless day will praise when it's high. Um, but when it's time to criticize and be honest, crickets and point scoring, that's the thing. Because I'm the same guy who yeah. sat on this platform and praised 
a lot of these players that I don't rate overall. But if De Gea has a great game, I'll sit here and say when he's had played well. Yo, De Gea played well today. When Bruno's played well, I'll sit here and say Bruno's played well or whoever. Uh, whichever, pick a player. When Luke Shaw's played well, I've been like, yeah, Luke Shaw played well. I don't pick and choose, but you're right, see one Because when players play well, certain people be in the chat like, oh, such and such played well. But then when that player played poorly, cricket. All the Bruno stands disappeared, ain't seen them. This is now Monday, technically now in the UK. You know what I'm saying? The final was two days ago. I ain't seen a Bruno stand since that final. I ain't seen one. Because he put in a shocking performance rather than be here and be like, yeah, he performed poorly. Oh, so we know shocked. we ain't going to get that. Yeah, who's not shocked, shocked, fam. Just pointing out just pointing out the yeah. obvious. You get what I'm saying? Just pointing out yeah. the fucking obvious of it. Like, no, it's... It, <laughs> had he had played well in that final and we'd won it and he was 10 out of 10 and bad of the match, here... See, this is Bruno, duh, duh, duh. this is why you shouldn't doubt him, blah, blah, blah. But he puts in a performance like that. Bear in mind, he's not the only one, people. They were all shocking. That's why on the, the combined show, I criticized them all. And this show, less off because Tazer and Diamond and Eddie were talking. I've criticized them all. And on the Man United, when I get asked about it, I criticized them all, 110%. But you yeah, see, on. apparently, mm. apparently, um, mm. it is wrong in 2023 to keep a dream. You see, we were, we were the ones who were hated the most when this holy out now started. When we just started to speak truth, we got a lot of hate. Now, after a while, all these MFs jumped on the bandwagon. And again, I used Eddie as my witness. A couple months ago, I would have let Eddie know my concerns. Even back in the day, Eddie, I was the first to mention something about Ragnick. And you said, hey, don't that I'm not only rap the train and I told you why. I see bullshit from a mile. And I believe that this man is compromising his integrity to hold on to a job. And ego does that to you. If you're keeping it real and they ask you to compromise, walk the fuck away. That's how I know it, G. No yeah, other I'm way. Not, I don't even think it's him compromise. I just think this is just a bad decision. Then that, yeah. and here's the thing. Yeah. Here's the thing. I think That's it's just I a think. bad decision. I would, I would even go that far in him in terms of him compromising. And I think it's just a bad decision. I feel okay. like just making but a bad decision. So let's, so let's just yeah. say a bad decision. Mm -hmm. Offering the girl a, a contract extension is another bad yeah, decision. Giving yeah. Luke Shaw a four year contract Disagree is another you. bad decision. No, no, no. I yeah, because, with that. because you're on the left center back height. Let's yeah. be real. That four-year contract was not to put Luke Shaw as a, as a left centre-back. In fact, yesterday, he should have started Luke Shaw as the left centre-back yeah. and Duran. And no. No, we can't Bad say that decisions. because we don't know who we've signed. No, no, no. Because if we sign a right-back and then Delo, who signed a new deal, then plays left-back, that means Luke Shaw will be a centre-back. So we can't All say right, that. So Luke, this Shaw is this centre -back at, Luke Shaw as a centre-back has played well this season. Yeah, but I will tell you why I disagree. Given him the four-year contract and if we sign. Mm -hmm. There are other more pivotal positions that is needed that will be addressed first. So hence, it is indicative when you're given Luke Shaw for your contract. The left, the, the left back position, you mm -hmm. see it as fairly okay. The other fire points with the midfield, the centre back, probably yeah, the a next winger the spine and the a striker. Mm -hmm. Those things come first. So I don't see, like, you will say, well, we don't know who we're going to sign. We might sign a, a left back to ensure that Luke Shaw is a backup to, to Martinez. No. If we deal with the critical points first, then therefore it stands he's an acceptable left back. Wait, who's an, wait, who's an acceptable left back? Sure. The ten yeah, hard, yeah, he is. yeah, and, that, and that's where, that's where I'll, I'll, I'll take issue. Like I said, if we sign a right back, which we could, because we have been linked with right backs, and then mm. we have him, Juan Bissaka. Dalo signed a new deal. We've seen him utilize Dalo as a left back. And you have Malasia over there who's his signing. Luke Shaw, the Luke Shaw new deal, I'm not going to get onto. And on top of that, we watched Sarah Alex Ferguson make bad decisions too. So I'm not going to pinpoint free and say he's he's doing his integrity. I've watched Sarah Alex Ferguson for years make, not years, make bad decisions, but I watched him give deals to people that I didn't think deserve deals and sign players and play certain players. Who signed Phil Jones? Yeah, and that, that, but that right. is the, no, if we apply dispensation to that, so he was, could have afforded to make those decisions. The money was flowing. We in a position where we financially strapped. We unsure whether we're going to get owners. So if the Ratcliffe deal come through where he, 
keeps all the glazers and buy off one every year for the next five, six years. Mm-hmm. Being under those restraints and FFP and still owing 300 million in transfers that we already with mm-hmm. a five, 500 million pound debt. Yeah. You can't afford to be making these types of decisions. No, we're still, but and no, no, no. Here the thing is, it, I, I killed that though, Black Diamond, because we're fucked anyway, so it makes no difference. No matter <laughs> who you get. So what are we talking about? It makes no difference. Yeah, if we, if we get the no Qataris, we ain't with all, them, with, all, so, with all them, No, with all them things you just mentioned, if if we don't get rid of the Glazers or his Glazers and Radcliffe, it doesn't matter what Ten Hag does, because we're not going to be back. So it doesn't matter. He could make every decision yeah. correct. And he's not going to be back. It's like when people, this is the same argument when people say, oh, Mason Martin improves your team or improves your squad, but he doesn't improve it to the point that where we need it to be. So it makes no difference. It doesn't take us to the next level. It doesn't. No, it, who does who? Take us to Mason Martin. Yeah, that, my point. So yeah, it's the it same doesn't. with the ownership. It's the same. So all the things we've mentioned is not like, like I said, Tenag's going to make decisions I don't like. He's made decisions I don't like this season and it's worked out, i.e. Luke Shaw as a left-sided centre-back. When I seen that, I remember, I can't remember what game it was, but I seen that verbatim and I was like, rah, he's playing Luke Shaw. I was dead against it and it worked. And I was like, hmm. And then he did it again and I was sceptical and it worked. And then he did it again and I was like, certain's not adding up here and it worked. I was like, yo, you got it right. I would have never have done that. Yeah, yeah give Rancos flowers because Rancos calling for Luke Shaw to be at that position over a year now. No, no. Play he even said the he same said, thing about for his he said, for his he said, he said, a left back as a back three, which I do agree with because we'd seen Oli. Yeah, do left centre back. I left side, but in a back four, hell, James, hell no. In a back James to do the same, you know. So, but Rich James probably could, to be honest. You know what I'm saying. So, what no. would be uh, what we what would be your tapping out point? As is, if Mason Mount is confirmed, we checked no, out tapping. for the season. Yeah, I'm tapping out for the season, hundred ten percent. Really. 110%. We agree. Like that's a, we yeah, agree. Like, because I don't because then I know where and when I say that, that's not all on Ten Hag. I know the the bar what the bar is for the club. Our ceiling is what happened this season. Go and compete for domestic trophies and battle for top four. That's now the aim. So I go, you know what? Cool. I'm gonna adjust my expectations accordingly because you lot have let me know what the expectations are. And that is now as good as we this is this is now our level and what we're gonna do. We are gonna Compete for domestic trophies and finish in the top four. So Mason Mart is a Mason Mart is a signing for that. If you're trying to do that, he fits that bill. If you're trying to stay at the level we're at, you sign a Mason Mart. So I understand this is the level we're comfortable here. We're not trying to move from this level. All right, cool. So I tap out, bro. If yeah, I think my this. thing is, my is I just wanted ahead, to go. take time. Like my judgment on him. I want it to take time. Do I not like the signs, Zendata? Yes. But for me, I'm not blaming him because these aren't his players. If Mount, Mount is one of his players. Mount is one yeah. of his guys. So you can look at that and be like, yeah, that's that's a trip. You done, you done fucked up. I'm not, I'm not there yet because, again, with this ownership thing going down, with um, – the Ronaldo situation, everything he's had to deal with as a manager objectively, it is like it's a lot to it's a lot for somebody to have to go through and still come out of that with the third place trophy. And I mean that's not crazy. I said that third, yeah, you know, to some people it's a fucking trophy, top four trophy. And and fucking uh a care about cup. Oh, and for these people talking about it's a little cup. Liverpool rented out a fucking bus and that wherever the hell they stay and paraded around town. All right. So it's not too little for them. So let's just relax. But yeah, I I'm with you, Dundada, with, with your critiques. I'm all for critiques. But I think emphatic judgments, I'm just not there yet. But I'm collecting a lot more evidence. Right? Exactly. Here's the thing. Same here. If you if he if he's doing all this nonsense, right? And he's doing all this nonsense, and then the Qataris come and then they look at it and they're like, Oh yeah, you're on nonsense. They'll just cut his ass too. So I don't have to wait too much longer. Like I think next season will be very telling because the second season is definitely gonna be the toughest now that they understand what he's trying to do out there. And so when I see the rest of the signings of this summer, that'll be one piece of the puzzle. 
So I I, I I hear any critiques of the man. That's all I'm saying. Like I hear any critiques of him. Like I've heard some people calling him a glazer puppet already. Like we're at that I point. Ain't, so. I ain't saying I ain't saying all that because it's kind of. Yeah, like, yeah like, that. But I'm, I'm all for like you said. I agree with you, Eddie. I'm I'm all for critique. I just need to see more evidence. That's all it is, and I won't turn. Even if he does sign Mason Mount, I'm not going to be like turn turn hog out because I'm still going to watch the games and hope I'm wrong. Right, Eddie. Like, when when you see Mason Mount, right? When when you see your football club, as you see in the serenity prayer. Because that's you know, where it took me in. To, the sur- the... to accept me, things I cannot change. That's why I say, if I back yeah, the really man, true. they're going to call me. Yeah, if I back the man, they're going to call my top red. I still want to give him a little, a little something, but a lot of red flags. That's not top red, you know? though. Back, still backing the manager is not being a top red because I back the manager and I'm not a top red. That's yeah, not think... back. That's that's not being a top red because if you. As no, as I say, I, I, I'm taking front. I'm yeah, take yeah, as yeah. in the Caribbean, they say take front yeah. before front takes you, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, I yeah, have yeah. my missing mount profile picture, I have top red diamond, and we all good. Ready to go. Hey, when it comes to the Mason Mount thing, Mason Mount thing, uh Dundada, like I'm really at the point where these players where I called him. I, I don't know if you heard me on the stream earlier. I said he's better than them. I don't like I I've, I've been so disrespected by this set of players, I could care less. I'm at that point. And plus you add on top of that, I'm operating under the impression that it's the Glazers still running things until otherwise noticed, until they get the, the you know, they get the, we get the confirmation that the, the sale has happened. So Mason Mount, getting a Mason Mount, getting a Rabio lines up with what we've been doing for these past, however long they've been in charge. Yeah, because Tad yeah. Deshine said, here, you know what's funny, Flawless? I was looking at Mount's metrics and Sabitzer's from the 21-22 season, and there isn't much difference in them. Mount's slightly better at a few things, but the gap wasn't big. And this mm. is, comes back to what I was saying, Time to Shine, in regards to, I have no issue with the profile. I don't care about philosophy and the style in regards to which one he wants to do. Just like I keep saying, go get the best in class. If you're changing your style and changing your philosophy, cool. I like the fact that you're versatile and not just sticking hey, with yo, I'll be back. I'll be right back. Yeah, no stress, Eddie. That's calm. Zero issue with that. Like I said, go get the best in class. If you want a Sabitza-esque player, go get the best player for that position. Go get a Casado. For example, I'm just using them as an example. Or somebody else. There's many more. Like I always say, unknown players. This time last year, we all know we needed a centre-back. Not one person mentioned Martinez. Now he's one of the best centre-backs in the league. So go and find me Martinez is all over the pitch, like for a goalkeeper, for example, midfielders, attackers, etc. When I say I'm Martinez, I'm talking about in terms of quality people. You, and you can do that. So when people say, oh, there's no value in the market, nonsense. We just don't know. Because they were in the pool of players that we're talking about. So midfield, everyone's mentioning the same midfielders. Rice, Mount, um, Casado, Lavia, etc. Agate's in there as well. Uh, Catherine Charam. There's more than five midfielders. So there's more than six midfielders. There's hundreds of thousands of midfielders playing across the globe. And yes, you can't you tell me you can't find two or three who fit what Manchester United are doing when you have all the resources to go and scout them. Of course you do. Of course you do. And Manchester United definitely have that. So this is why I critique the, the recruitment and the scouting department. Someone's not doing their job. Because Casado was unknown. Yeah, like you said, Casado five mil, Matoma five mil, and Cecil was eight mil. There's so much time. Exactly, Christian. Nobody knew these players this time last year. Nobody knew Martinez. Now we'd all say he's one of Manchester United's best players, first team on the first name on the team sheet. Clearly. The thing we've about it is Rag, Ragnar had identified Caicedo and Caravashilia and these yeah. guys, you know. So that's Nobody, good. So, you know? so no one listen, but my point is that adds further to the point is that these players are out there. Because there's much yeah. more than those two. So is there never going to be a midfielder, an attacker, or a defender, or a goalkeeper who we don't know about whose quality? Of course there is. Yeah, yeah, Elias. Every team after the same players is funny, though. Because I think it's just laziness. I think it's lazy from the big teams. Everyone looking at Casado, Lavia, Kevin Charam, Mount, Rice. Yeah. So are you okay with the money ball approach? What's the money ball approach, Elias? You'll have to elaborate. I don't know what the money ball approach is. I think that 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 simply no, means um, throwing money behind the problem without yeah. having a strategy. 
that's how that terminology is interpreted. Is all it is. Yeah, I just want to make sure before I respond. You could be right, but I let him respond. But yeah, yeah, there's clearly others. Uh, man, that's my issue as well. It seems manager names are not scouts, in my honest opinion. I hear you, time to shine. And yeah, Matthew, you're right. Our worldwide scouts must have the easiest job in the world as they don't seem to do anything. Don't seem to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? And that. Like, they don't seem to do... And if it's not, I've heard before, or our scouts have, like, recommended people and then the people at Manchester United have said no. It's kind of like, all right, so they need to be fired then. If Manchester United, if our scouts are recommending players and then the people in charge are saying no and then these players go elsewhere and are successful, for example, a Casado, for example, a Matoma, whoever it is, a Haaland, Hodgland, then you need to be sat then because clearly you're not good at, at doing your job. That's the Glazers. Clearly not. If it, that's the Glazers, clearly not. I don't think the Glazers are signing off on players. Well, the, the explanation like, for the um, thing is in chat. Yeah. Indirectly, it's indirectly the Glazers because it, there it's... The Darren Fletcher and John Murto and all these guys, they're not they're not saying yes. The boards, oh, the boards well, yeah, they yes, are so. indirectly. Yeah, you're right. And to Elias, who says Moneyball is looking at unknown players cheap but with good stats. No, I want us to go scout. Obviously, look at the stats, but go watch these players as well. And I'm not fussed about the price, whether it's one million or it's fifty million. Go watch. Send these scouts to these places to go and watch. I'm saying we see it all the time where if it's a game at Wembley, some like an international uh, manager will be in the crowd to watch his team. Go and scout. Go to all these continents across the globe, South America, North America, Africa, you know what I'm saying, the Caribbean. Go all across Europe. Go Australia. Go to all of these places and go and watch players. And yes, make sure the stats match up, but check the eye test. What's this player like in games when his team is down? What's he like when his team is up? What's his in, et cetera, et cetera. Yes. And to wonder, it says, Flawless, the Glazers sign off on every player. The point I was making is the Glazers ain't the one saying, no, don't bring me Casado. No, I don't think they wanted the Glazers said, nah, we don't want him. They don't know what's going on. If you ask them who Casado is, they probably don't even know. They might yeah. not follow what's going who, on. Who was the guy, Mutaza, who took over Richard Arnold? Richard Arnold is the one who has the final sign off on players. Not the police. Yeah. yeah. And this this guy, um, I believe the the G in Dutch is pronounced as a Y, so it's supposed to be Hoyland as the proper pronunciation for the striker. Like we had a Yap Stam. Hey, big up Victor. I think it yeah, Hoyland. Hey, right, big up, boys. Big up. Every time. Alright, my dude. Bless up. Hey, right. on the Ten Hag thing though. Bro, listen, I'll say this. If our rebuild is a new De Gea contract, Mason Mount, Adrian Rabio, I'll be real, I, I ain't with the rebuild. Like, I'm not I'm not ten hog out, nor am I ten hog in. I'm just let's just like I'm right in the middle. Let bro. me ask you're, you something though. You're skeptical. Right, yeah. Though. You would be. I'll, Let me I'll, ask you something though. Yeah, Let me yeah, ask you yeah. something. What's up? Do you think that's that's his rebuild, bro? If it's not, then he's a young man. If he's the manager, it has to be your rebuild, Eddie. If he's the manager, it has to be his rebuild. If it's not, then he should walk. Come on. Yeah, I thought I, I, I'm. Come on, man. But it's just like, no, I'm I'm only asking because it's just those names you just like. It strikes me as he's not making decisions like he thought he was, like he thought he was going to, or because I just want to, like, that's the question I have. Because let me ask you something even if he wasn't there as manager, does that not sound like some decision that we would be making? Yes, if he... I, said it sounds like, I said it sounds like that sounds like Ollie. This sounds See like what Oli, I'm saying? And, this sounds like Oli, and what, what what is common between him and Oli, Mutu and Fletcher, and Arnold? That's the common denominator. That's what I'm asking. That's the so only reason if I'm he's asking. Not, I don't know either way. Right. I don't know either way. I'm so, so my brother, if if I right, if that is the hypothesis you're using, and it is not his signings, then ideally he should walk, or he's a puppet. Yes or no? Yeah, or he's a yes man. Or he's yeah. a yes man. Exactly. Absolutely. 
That's what it comes right. down to. Right, so that's what we're cutting it. It's either this is your silence, Mr. Ten Hag. Okay, we, we okay. might not agree, but we're going down with it. That's why, or... that's, why I, that's why I agree. His, like, that's why I agree on a said before. Yes, I think Mount is his idea. I think Rabio is his idea as well. Yeah. And there is two, I think there is two players. That's what I'm yeah, not hearing that, about. That, that, not. Bro, either way we're players. fucked. Either way, we're fucked, Absolutely. right? Because <laughs> either either he's not a he's not as good as a manager as we thought he was, or he's a yes uh, man. Both are terrible. Yeah. Like either yeah. way, we're yeah. fucked. And that's my thing too. It's like you built up that Ajax roster the way that you constructed, the way that you did, and then you come and you you serve us this. Bro, make right. it make sense for me, boss. That's all. I, was, that's why I'm asking the questions. Cause yeah, he was Pep's assistant in Pep's first year at Bayern, you know. And in his little bio, he said Pep was the one who would have expanded his mind and his thinking and love for football, and hence his philosophy. To go from that to to Rabiu and and Miss Mount. Because ideally, when we speak, we speak about competing at the highest level, Champions League, EPL, and these players are not going to take us close to city. No, we know how dying it. So yeah, we know this. Either, as I said, it's either he he's a fucking genius who's going to prove me wrong, or he's an idiot. One exactly. out of the two. Exactly. It's it's nothing in the middle. It's like either he's Exactly what you said. And, bro, that's the worrying part, man. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, because this is the thing, right? And back to Eddie's point. When he first came in, all the interviews, he was talking about, we need to control games. Even when we won against Liverpool, when we won against Southampton, when we won against Leicester City, before we faced Arsenal. Because we lost the first two games, we beat Liverpool, then it was Southampton and Leicester. He was not happy after the games because we were like, yeah, man, even though we're winning, he's not happy. That's a good sign. And he's talking about we didn't have enough control of the game. Mm -hmm. But then now we're just surrendering possession. So, like, Mm -hmm. if you're just trying to accommodate, like, if you're basically sacrificing your philosophy to accommodate these mid to trash ass players, then you're not the guy I thought you were. You're not ruthless. Let me get right? to let me get to this because because I I, I ain't saying I ain't pulling shit out of my ass pause like I ain't saying shit like just making shit up it's his words he wants control he wants possession he said yeah. it's our job is not only to win our job is to entertain this is a theater of dreams and it was yeah. only recently Garnacho when Garnacho signed his new deal he gave the speech to his mom that our job is to entertain our job is to have control and he's mm-hmm. one of the players that can help me do that that's not. That's only think, a month. Uh, yeah, I think. Like, yeah, I think he might have looked at it, and even though it's a month in, I think it's a change. I think it's a change in idea, which again I have no issue with. I, I don't know about that flowers for me. You don't think it's a change in idea? Look, all right. So no, let me ask I, you a no, 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 no. What I'm saying what? is, I don't, what? I don't respect that kind of change. Oh, uh, you saying you don't respect it? All right, fair, fair, Yeah, because okay. what it comes across to me is, mm-hmm. you have severely lower your standards. Mm-hmm. To maintain a certain level, mm-hmm. and it's one of these situations where, because I'm looking at, it, I'm like, you made a, you make the great, the best point of this. If you want to play that style of football, yeah, get better players to do yeah. so. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with that. Yeah, and he is like moving from from Beyonce to to Lazo. I mean, it doesn't make yeah. sense. Yeah, it here. doesn't make the thing is, <laughs> hey, I don't know, man. You know what? I'm with you, bro. Yeah, let like, me get to the super chat. Hey, King Juice, man. I hope you're good. Big up for the super chat. Big up to always showing support as well. He says, Big up from the States, gents. Shout uh, out, bro. Juice from big the up, West Side with love. Yeah, man, big up King Juice. Bro, we talked about uh, Mount the other day. He's just not good enough along with Sabitza. We big up Ten Hag all day, every day, but he's fucking bringing more mid to the club. Yeah, Juice, like again, salutes for the super chat. We did discuss Mount and you was here about it. And yeah, he's we know he's not good enough. Um, and we do big up Ten Hag. This is how you know that way. And I was going to get to the other comment I start where we don't back blindly. Like, yeah, we'll praise the manager. But if we see something we don't like, we will criticize. And um, we do big him up all day. But if he does bring him out, I'm just not with it. Because like Eddie said, mentioned it. We have to judge it because now this is your player. 
the reason why we're not so harsh on him with other players because these ain't his players. I'm saying, yeah, we'll judge his signings. Bear in mind his signings. Forget the FA Cup final and the, the potential Mount deal. Manchester United have had a good season and his signings contribute to that. So this is why when people say his signings weren't good, no, they did their job. Yeah, Anthony's the one you criticise the most. Casemiro did what he was supposed to do and was, was excellent. Martinez was our best player and was excellent. Malasio was decent. Ericsson, yes, tailed off towards the second half, but I'm not forgetting what he did in the first half of the season. And he's still joint second, in t- no, joint first, sorry, in terms of assists. So I'm not going to. Do we need to improve on him? Yes, but I'm talking from the season. Did these, t- did these players improve us? Yes, they did. They contributed to Manchester United having a successful season. Therefore, the signings were good because guaranteed had Manchester United finished six and won no trophies, then we would all be here saying how bad the window was and how the signings did nothing. No, they all had positive impact to varying levels. In particular, Martinez and Casemiro. They're two, they've been our two best players this season to me. Without doubt, they've been our two best players. And if we're talking top five, yeah, Rashford gets in there to me. Ericsson gets in there as well. What are we doing? Varane as well, I throw in the mix because I thought Varane was very good. But yeah, big up for the super chat um, juice every single time. You lot were only at 81 likes as well. Over one before you go, over 130 of you lot in the building. Let's get up to 100 likes. Um, Let me just get to a couple things as well. So yeah, Christian, you said this, disagree with this because we had a successful season. And let's be real, Ten Hag got the job off the back of the golden generation of Ajax. I don't know how old you are, but if you think that's the Ajax golden generation, you just need to go do your Googles. Yeah. If you don't know the ballers that have come through Ajax. See, people be doing too much and going over the top. Go look at yeah, some of the best crazy. ever players in the world came through Ajax's academy. So to call De Jong and Donny van der Beek, who else was in that team? Ziyech, who else? All of them players Average, he had. Tadic is complete. That man don't even crack the squad of the best Ajax teams of all time. <laughs> So to call that, go look at some of the Ajax teams in the in the mid to late 90s that was in Champions yeah. Leagues. I think they might have won one in like the early 90s or mid 90s, but they were in the last stages. So please, people, just, just to name off about. a few people go over the Patrick top Clivert, right? Dennis Bergkamp, Johan Cruyff, like <laughs> Marco van Basten. Like, <laughs> hey, just come on, man. Chill out, chill out. Like, let's well, do it too much. Just, 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 come on, come on. Yeah, but uh, just, as, as I was do saying, do it too. In his post match in in his post match interview, um, he was pressed on three occasions concerning the game, and it was the first time that that he didn't really try to protect it. He said we lost as a team, we played as a team, but obviously the types of errors and soft goals being allowed is not acceptable. And then we see United plug, and up to now I'm trying to find that that interview. Apparently, the day after he did that interview in Times Magazine, where he was highly critical, he said he needed better players. He has identified what he wants, and it's up to the people who finance and the purchases to do their job. So it could be, and that that is the one percent of me giving me benefit of the doubt. It could be. Right now, he's just given politically correct answers. But behind the scenes, he's pushing for what he wants. Maybe. And again, and, that is why the Miss let, Mountain let me just get to this quick, because man are doing too much. Okay, Ten Hag got the job off the back of the best Ajax team in 30 years. I'll be specific. Name a manager that's been successful with a bad team. Now we're doing too much. And now I have to defend Ten Hag, even though we're here being critical. So I ask you specifically, Christian, name a manager who's been successful in one of the top teams in your one of the top leagues in Europe or got a top job in Europe without having a good team. Name one. Had a bad team. Every manager's had a good team. People praise Pep. Name a bad Pep side. What are we doing here? All right. What are we, what are we doing here? Let's, let's, let's stop. Better, Let that you, here we go. Like, what are we doing? That's a better uh, indicator of how bad, a, how bad a manager is if you give him all the tools that he needs to be successful and he still fails. Yeah, like, we're not doing that. We're not discrediting, like, he didn't contribute to Ajax having a good side. Yes, I know I got you. Might the development do Just of criticize those players, Ten Hag for what he's done. Yeah, go on, fam. The development of those players, if you ask those players to a tee, they'll tell you Ten Hag had an yes. incredible amount of influence on their development as players. Yes. People, we can ask questions. We can make some judgments. Mm-hmm. But just have some moderation to it. Yes. That's it. 
Moderation. That's it. All three of us up here are pissed off asking questions that are actually at this point in time, they're all valid. Yes. From what Dendada has said to what Martaz said to what I said, I think they've all been valid questions. Mm -hmm. And that's the only the only thing that that that's given me because me and Ten Hog, when it comes to his pressers, I know he's speaking for the strength of other people, meaning. I know when he talks, he's talking to keep a certain level of confidence within those players because that's a part of his ethos. He does not want to be the type of manager to go out there and slag his players off. Now, I think a loss as bad as it was, you saw cracks as he was so frustrated, he had to let some of it out. When you say about the goalkeeper, yeah, there were some mistakes, but we can't get into that right now. That means, yo, he was god-awful garbage, and he's still my player, so I can't necessarily get yes. too crazy on his ass. But if you had me in a pub in Amsterdam smoking on some of that good shit, I'll tell you everything about him and his mom if you gave him the chance. That's what it <laughs> sounded like to me with that one. You know, I'm looking at the comments. Yeah, let me just get to these comments as well. To ER saying, I'm sorry, let me just clarify on the Ten Hag thing, people. I've only seen Ten Hag for one season, so I can't really give you an overall assessment of where I think his level is. Has he exceeded my expectations this season with this team? Yes, I didn't expect him to have this positive impact. However, that doesn't mean that I can't criticize going forward or criticize what I'm seeing in the summer. But so far, so good. Is Ten Hag elite level? I don't know yet. Do I know enough to know he's a same? Do I rate him as a good manager? Yes. He's done enough this season where I say he's good. So I'm not going to hear anything that he's not a good manager. How good is different? This is, is he great? This is what is I can't get. Class? Is he world class? I don't know yet because I need more than a season. You know, you ER, are ER going unchecked because I wasn't seeing any comments on it. Mm -hmm. And I read in some of this youth comments. He is going unchecked talking a lot of fuckers in the chat. You know? mm -hmm. You're comparing he, um, Ten Hag to Ateta, brother. Really? This is Ten Hag's first season. Ateta is going into what? Four, uh, what, four and a half seasons going into. You said Atata was given all the tools and feel. Has Ten Hag been given all the tools? Really? Yes, Why you all just be chatting shit? Because you think you don't come into Sarcasm City and go and check my brother. Is either you speak facts or take it on. Mutaza, deal with that youth now because I don't want to start it. Ten Hag's first start. season is arguably better than Arteta's best season. Don't don't come to me with no foolishness. You got yeah, second, we got third with the trophy. It is what it is. That's a great Don't question. What is, what, what is Arteta's best season? Is, is it eighth with the FA Cup or second with no trophy? It's the eighth with the best. Of, yeah, so it is. It's eighth with the FA Cup, right? Yes. That's his best season. That's yes, Arteta's, it is. And, what's yeah. Arteta's best season? Yeah. And ER yeah. is saying that Ten Hag That's can crazy. be good, but, but not elite. Out. That's crazy. How, how do you know Ten Hag will not be elite? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. On, on, on what basis? What? Listen, let, let's let's have an intellectual debate here, little youth. On what basis you saying that? Do you have a crystal ball up your ass that you can see the future? Give me the lot of numbers for tomorrow. Come on, look up. Ah, his last man won a league. Again. The man won a league in Ajax. He won the double, and as soon as he leave, Ajax has crumbled. Where the, the, the fire and the board and everything. Right? He coming into a new league. It inherited again the worst United side statistically in EPL history. We wasn't even expecting top four. Man finished two with a cup. And you are saying he does not have the capacity to be elite. Yeah, that what kind I of... don't know. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I agree with you in terms of that. Like, see, I, boy. I, I personally need more than a season to say if a manager is going to be elite or not. I'm not here saying he is going to be. One thing I will say of this season alone and what he's done at Ajax, I can say he's a good manager. Is he going to be great? Is he going to be top class, world class, elite? I need to see more. I need two, three, four seasons. And to Jacob, it says Ten Hag got back though, especially with the kind of owners you have. And he delivered, Jacob. He got back to, he didn't get back to in January. He got back to in the summer. He didn't get back to in January fully, but he delivered. So he got back and not even delivered, over delivered. Because no one had us where we finished. No one had us winning the trophy 
I'm finishing first. I've yet to see somebody. Yeah, I have yet to see somebody I, put us as third with yeah, the trophy. No one and said that. Yeah, their preseason like conversation. Yeah, yeah. Nobody but said what that. is ironic? What is ironic for us? Mm-hmm. He said it in his interview. Or go back and look at the interview. He said he wasn't backed with signers in January. Yeah, Meaning he doesn't even rate where Gwas and Sub is set. He said he was not backed and other yeah, teams strength and he they did back. not. I said it. I said there's no way he walked in in December around Christmas times and said, I need a midfielder and a tackle. Get me Sabitzer and, and Vekos. No chance. No way did he walk no. in and say that. No. Yeah. That was a money thing. That was like, here's does the money. ER, bro- okay, I get because we're broke. Yes. Yes. Does ER stand for emergency room? What level up? <laughs> Ask uh, this you're talking in the chat, boy. Just, hey, bro, just leave him alone, man. He's a troll. Hey, man, you that no. Troll? All right. Hey, he's a, on the interview. We, have, yeah, we, have, yeah, we in the, the penthouse suite right now. Let them bums worry about what crumbs to eat out the trash real quick. We are right. <laughs> for real, for real. On the on the interview thing, though, you know what was like he, he criticized De Gea indirectly. Like, you had to read between the lines, obviously. But it was I interesting. Think... A report came out today. Cool. That the deals uh, been agreed with De Gea before the West Ham game, right? Like way mm-hmm. before then. But the thing is, United just aren't like they've agreed the terms, but they've not like given the go ahead yet. Like they've not they brought out the like. papers. So yeah. there's been a holdup, and like there shouldn't be. Like you know, Dalo da got signed, Luke Shaw got signed, Garnacho got signed. So yeah. I do think it's telling that. De Gea's deal has been delayed this much that there has to be something going on behind the scenes that we don't know about and then we haven't heard in reports and stuff yet that because he ha- it's not like we haven't like you know re-signed a- anybody else so you know I I do hope like you know we just like you know what I'm, I know we agree terms but let's just go you you go your way we go our way you know do all that shit because. And that is why we need, second, blood we need on, to second, suck. One second. Yo, Blood Diamond, one second. Oh, it's still over 120 of you lot in here. Big up at 88 likes. Get us up to 100 likes, people. Hit that like button because you're clearly enjoying the content. It is the Sarcasm City Sports Q&A. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell as well. Make sure you do that. If you're a member of the channel, I will start your question. And I will get to it. It doesn't have to be on this topic in regards to Manchester United and Ten Hag. It may be one of the title topics. It may be Chelsea pulling out of the Agate race. It may be about Pasta Coglu going to Spurs. It may be something else. That's absolutely fine. But make sure you continue to get your questions in if you are a member in particular. Of course, if you super chat, I'll get straight to your comment and question as well. We're currently at 6,630. Five more subscribers, people. We'll get us to 6,635. There's over 130 of you lot in the building. I know there's at least five people who have not subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell as well. Somebody update me on the Nuggets uh, heat score as well, please, in the chat. That would be much appreciated as well. And there is a watch along going for that um, going on on the Twitch as well. Currently, people, where I'll be heading at when we close uh, when we close this out, 110. percent uh, Yeah, go on, Black Diamond. Say what he's gonna say. Yeah. So one of the first people that I got rid of is Neil Ashton. That man used to do spin in the media, and mm. we hired him. And that is why we had all this holy and back to greatness, and they were in back the same, the same out, outfits that food. He guys just the way Neil Ashton is a, he actually reads the algorithm on Twitter and then decide what they're going to post. Good. Yeah. And for people, uncomf- uncomfortable conversations. I love Sir Alex. You understand? And my dad will shed a tear when he passes on. But people fail to realize from horse recent days when he was chummy with the owners of Manchester United and they fell out over a horse. And he and David Gill got the ball rolling to get these people to sell to the Glazers. Fugi not only embraced the Glazers, he empowered the Glazers. People want to know how he was sitting next to the Glazers. He brought those bitches here. And sometimes I even wonder if it is he's worried that somebody might come in and succeed the way he did. Because to have these that. people here so that. long. He died, he you know, but 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 you, you you know, you know. And money money talks and mm-hmm. bullshit works. He had total rain 
he called all the shots under the green side. No manager subsequent is fully had that ability he or power. He, did, he definitely defended it like, when he said stuff yeah, like, it's oh, either you like, fix up. Yeah, there's no value in the leave. back and stuff like that. Like he said all that. Exactly. Prime, what are you saying, fam? You good? Yo, Prime. What, me? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. well, you're the only Prime here. So, yes, you. Are you good? Well, yeah, I'm good. I, yeah, I'm bless. telling Before you go... Yeah, go I'm... on, Eddie. Go on, go on. Prime, I was going to get yeah. to something you asked me as well. But, yeah, go on. Go on, Eddie. I'm telling you, I would have I would have been with you. But I got to say it. He spin the truth. He spin the truth. Then that is spin the truth, dog. Oh, here's yeah, the thing. Yeah, here's yeah, the he thing his role. With, cool. about Sir Alex. He's at this point in his life where he sit he sits back and he and enjoys his success, right? But at the same time, because we keep on talking about what we used to be. He gets he he gets kept in the conversation of greatest of. When you think about it, it's like what ten plus years with Pep Pep being you know still doing his thing. Like he Pep and him were battling at one point in time, and then people saw that as oh, Sir Alex is passing the baton to Pep, and now it's like Pep is creating his own story that Sir Alex isn't really even a part of. Mm-hmm. But he gets. He gets brought back into this conversation because of our inadequacies as a club right now. We mentioned how great he was year in and year out, year in and year out. Whereas if we were just great right now, that's all we'd be talking about. We wouldn't have to talk about, we could reminisce on the trail, but it wouldn't be in part a bigger part of the conversation than the fact that, okay, we're challenging for this title. We just got the champions league. Woo, woo, woo. So it might not be as overt, but do I think that Sir Alex enjoys where he stands right now in the Manchester United hierarchy as still being a somewhat of a shot caller? Absolutely. 100%. Yes. Uh, big up to ER for the super chat. Says, man, Ten Hag is miles better than I tell. Yeah, not ER You know what I'm saying? Big up for the super chat. I'm not in no disagreement. Yo, Prime, you there? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what me and um before, I know because out of context, Carefree Lewis, I can't put it out. What me and Murtaza was debating, Murtaza, me and a guy was debating was the whole Mount, and he was trying to sell Mount to me. So basically what he was stated was, uh, with Mount's profile, you can like, you can be, a manager will get the most out of him and you can be successful type of thing. And then he made a statement and said, every every side that's, every title winning side in the, every title winning side in the Premier League era has had a midfielder that's been underrated. So I said, name the names. And obviously he couldn't name the names because it's a bullshit statement. And Agal's my guy. Well, Agal's, yeah, I think Agal is older than me. But we're of similar ages anyway. So I'm like, I know you've yeah, seen this shit. Agal hey, hasn't been watching football hey, longer than you. Ain't oh, no. Listen, uh, but, but, but to my point, to I, my I, point I, is... I call you old. I mean, that might have came across like I was calling you old for us. I wasn't doing that. I'm just nah, saying. Nah, that's cool. Ain't no way. Yeah, yeah, Agal's like... Because like when Agal told me his age, I was like, really? You know what I'm saying? Because we were debating certain of it. Like, Agal's older than I thought he was. Uh, no, but Agal hasn't... With all due respect to Egal, he hasn't been. Oh, he's not been watching more. Right. First, no. but my, the point we was making. Egal is Egal is thirty two and flawless. Yeah, that's see, yeah. So we're at similar ages. Um, so yeah, and then I was make so and then I was like, all right, name the players, and he was like, and then we went back and forth for a little bit, and then he was like, oh, I can't right now. So I was like, all right, it's a nonsense statement. If you state an opinion and then you can't back it up, that just means you're saying we can just say anything. And it's like, all right, well, I can't name the names because he knows that's nuts. It's like he mentioned Henderson at Liverpool and then even Lewis was like disagreeing with that. But I was like, all right, we'll just give him Henderson at Liverpool. That's cool. Name the rest. And then he said, oh, who did Chelsea have in um, the team when you lot won it under Conte? And it was Matic, Kante, Fabregas. So I said two of the three best midfielders we've ever we've seen in the Premier League in Kante and Fabregas. Like, what are we doing? Like, um, who else did he mention? And then we didn't go no further. And it's like, I know. And then someone tried to say in the chat, like, oh, Darren Fletcher. Darren Fletcher was never a mainstay as in central midfield for Manchester United in our winning years. He was a squad player. A very good one, don't get mistaken. And he played central midfield at times. Sometimes he played wide right as well. But let's not do that. It's like when someone said, it was on the show with Eddie when we did Man United on the Friday. And someone tried to say, oh, yeah, United won the leagues with, like, Anderson and Cleverly in the midfield. 
I said, and Pat G Sung, I was like, first and foremost, Pat G Sung was a squad player. Like, people trying to tell me about stuff that I watched. So I knew that was bullshit. And then I went and checked cleverly and Anderson's numbers during that time. And then none of them man played over 25 games. Midfield's key. The worst midfield to probably win it is probably the Kante Drinkwater midfield. I can't remember the Blackburn midfield like that to tell you. But in the modern day era, it's definitely Kante and Drinkwater. Bear in mind that Kante is one of the best midfielders we've ever seen. So that was the point he was making. He was just trying to sell me Mount. And he's like, no. And then he was like, oh, I take him at Arsenal. What to start? And he was like, yeah. And then he said, no, I take him as a squad player. It's like, no, we're saying to start. So that's where the conversation stemmed from. But then it got interrupted by the Agate news. No, man, just well, that's when you get a chance. Put up that RSV comment for me, please. What is it? So, yeah, that's what it was, bro. Blazers are not allowing Ten Hag to sell Martial as he's viewed as a major commercial asset. Man United are doomed and set up for failure. Ten Hag will get sat next year like Van Gaal slash Jose. So let's deal with the first point. Not United, not anybody, views Martial as a commercial asset. Total mm -hmm. rubbish. Problem with Martial is the same problem they're going to have with, with Sancho. No smaller team has the ability to pay 240k a week to an injury prone player. You understand? He's not viewed as a commercial. A commercial asset is an asset that the fans would go out and, and, and buy merch because of this person. You will have sponsors coming to the club wanting to link to this player. How much goals has Marshall scored in the last three EPL seasons come by? Yeah, thanks. Wait, before we even continue, RSV, where does this come from? Where's from the his head. Is his the head. source to this? Like, I've not heard this. That's why I won't even address it until you brought it up. Like, where does this, like, source? When was this said? Did someone say this and I missed it? Who reported this? People just be chatting shit. Like, where is this? This man could not be viewed as a commercial asset to nothing to that's anybody. Why that, that's why I don't believe this. Because he's not Other than his baby mamas. Other than his two baby mamas, right, he's right, a commercial right, asset to no one. Yeah, relax. Uh, Jacob says Martial is a commercial. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, yeah, that's why I don't even know why you addressed this, Black Diamond. You just gotta let certain things go. Hundred and ten. You just gotta let things go. I let shit go all the time. So like that don't even make no. Yeah, that don't make no type of sense. I read it according to the Mirror today and many sources. All right. So what are the other sources? The fact that you cited the Mirror lets me know all I need to know. The Mirror. The mirror's all right. I'll say this right now to anyone watching. The mirror is not a credible source. The mirror is not. No, unless a credible he's being source. honest. No, not a credible he means source. he means his mirror. Yeah. All right, first. Um, right. Yeah, it's not. It's not the mirror on what the other sources named them. But yeah, just to clarify, people and you lot as well. When you yeah yeah yeah, Sha, you saw it. When anyone drops anything on here, please drop the source next to it, whether it's a tweet or whatever. If it's your opinion, that's cool. But then let it be known that it's your opinion. But Martial never... ain't a commercial asset in his own. That's what. That's what. That's United. Eddie. That's why I don't make those. That's why I don't believe that is true. That sounds like a slow news day to me. Now he could be. If you would have said the Glazers, <laughs> think it looks the like same. the all of these new papers, Daily Express, the Mirror, the Sun, paid no attention to them. Can't clarify. Yeah, it... e. here is. I'm from the UK. Like I know enough about what they spout week in, week, week out, especially in summer transfer windows. All this deal's coming through. They have a newspaper to sell, so they're going to say shit. They can't, blank, they can't print blank papers because then nobody will buy it. Nobody What's will read it. Comment? They'll get no clicks. Say again. Watch the rest of his comment. Say that again. You broke up a little bit. Say that again. Sorry, his, his comment that he yeah. put in, what was the rest of it? Oh, we said something along the lines of the Glazers won't allow Ten Hag to sell Martial because it's a commercial asset. Or yeah, but the like second that. part. And then it said, um, one second. Bear with me. I'm just trying to find it now. Where are we at? Here it is. Oh, yeah. Ten Hag will get sacked by Jose, like Jose and Van Gaal next year. We're doomed and set up for failure. But yeah. yeah. Pay no attention to any newspaper from the UK people. And that's someone from the UK saying zero attention to them when it comes to football. Zero. Same thing because I saw something. I saw we were linked with this the, that goalkeeper uh, Costa. 
and the yeah. links were coming from Portugal people. They need clicks too. So yes, how do people go all that with links black? and stuff like that is probably just they know that the United crowd wants a new yes. goalkeeper. So if yes. they put that out, they'll get clicked on. Take it for what it is. Until you start seeing like it's sad to say because there are some people who are in the know. Hmm. Right? But until you actually see it from like the big wigs, that's how you know because they want that information to be out there. Facts. Let me just clarify people. When's the last time a newspaper broke a story of an actual transfer? Not like What's the word I'm looking for? Not like um, some unknown shit that's going on, an actual transfer. Not some scandal. If it's a scandal, that can be believed. You know what I'm saying? If a player's getting yeah. into a fight and, and the newspaper breaks it, that makes sense. But if it's some form of scandal, newspaper breaks it, that makes sense. Newspapers don't break transfers. They don't break transfers. Journalists might, and then it gets printed afterwards. When's the last? The Agate news broke. Who broke that? We ain't no goddamn newspaper. You know what I'm saying? Look, go look at who posted about that. It was Fabrizio and somebody before him. Uh, Speaking so, of yeah. which, yeah, go um, <laughs> I, um, I, I don't know. I just like, I saw the thing that's put inside the group chat about him not coming. I don't know. I think the whole thing is kind of, a lot of the material is really to. I think it's kind of funny. Are you talking about Agate? All right, when you say funny, what do you mean? And a few others. Uh, <laughs> Uh, my assumption, particularly with Premier League fans, is a lot of people don't watch football outside the Premier League. So I don't know how much mm-hmm. people have actually watched of him. I haven't watched yeah, him either. Okay. Yeah, I haven't watched him either. So I don't know if he's good or not. But my assumption is that he's being over hyped. I've mm-hmm. seen his comps that just get posted on Twitter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I think he's I a good did t- I did that pride. Most people in the UK don't watch football outside what their club that. plays. I, I know they don't, they won't watch that bad. in the league near yeah. long outside Crazy. in Europe and stuff. I, I think he's a good ball winner, but in terms of like being on the ball and stuff, I don't know. But again, I don't watch him, so other than a few comps I've seen, I don't actually watch him play, so I don't have, I can't really have an actual opinion. Um, I even trust the comps these days. Yeah, we're also linked with Cassiedo. I, I also that. think he's over. I also think he's vastly overhyped. This comparison with Kante, I don't see it. And he's Kante like though. I, I don't know. He's got. You know what? I go as far to say profile. He because he's bad technically than Kante. I I don't know. A lot of people people said Fred is Kante like. I I don't know. Oh my god. No, I don't. I don't. Profile, I don't. profile wise, he is. He's just not as good. I don't. Profile, I don't. I, the, but I don't know about from the eye test. From the eye test, I see it. seems very proper. In my I'm opinion, fair, my humble fair, opinion. Fair, fair enough. You guys rate him, so I'll take your word for it. But from what I've seen, I I'm don't. A, bear in mind, don't don't do me mistaken. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying he'll be as he'll be as good as Kante or better. But I see why some they're the same profile. It's a lot of players around the world football. McAllister as well. I don't, I don't see it. Would you on that prime? I could. I think these yeah, guys are good. Yeah, McAllister, okay. Ugarte, Cassiera. I think they're probably good, but the money being touted for, and I'm not someone who's a big money guy. I think you you pay on quality, not just on price tag. But I could I, see why I, people would want to invest in in a future in Cassiero. I could see that. Relative to the other enough. two. I share your concerns, but the McAllister dealings we reported to be something like to the M's, which is to mm. me, if that is true, that is great business. And Black Diamond, you, like you know, boss, fine, I'll take your word for it. But from what I've seen, I don't think he's special. Even Kante, yeah. as great as he is as a ball winner, as an all round midfielder, I don't think he's that, you know, r- I don't think he's that great. It's because he excelled defensively in his prime. That's what set him apart. No pun intended. Uh, Kante used to give me nightmares, brother. That like, man will just like, actually like, look, multiply. Look at, what he did, look at what he did for Leicester and look at what he did for you. Like, the no, no, I know. I know. I know. Yeah. Brilliant yeah. winning the ball. But you saw oh, yeah. once... He all, would multiply. Once, once he would, yeah. Wow. But you yeah. saw once his physicality went. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 100%. That was, the, that was his... The, the, that's what his game was about. 110%. Without doubt. Without doubt. 
that um, Christian yeah, he said, read the game. His, his anticipation yeah. to anticipation what was going to take place well. next was elite. Yeah. It uh, was Liverpool, elite. Liverpool legs went after the quad push. United completed deep in all competed deep in all four competitions this year. Is this a concern for you all this season? No, because we need to, we need a whole new team anyway. So forget exactly. these men. It's not like the Liverpool side where you go, all right, with good additions, we can then kick on. I don't want to build around these about around these players we have. I got four, I got three players I'd keep in the first team. Everyone else, I want improvements on it. Obviously, that's not going to happen, but I'm saying in an ideal world. I've said, bring me a new goalkeeper. I'm saying two new fullbacks, two out of the three midfielders, a striker, and a right winger. And that's just the first team. Never mind the actual squad and backup. So now I don't worry about the team being overplayed. And to people mentioning Basuma, Basuma just went to Conte and just didn't get played. It's not like Basuma played at Spurs and was poor. How many games did he play? I don't much. remember seeing him. Oh, oh, I can imagine yeah, going to double check. Oh, yeah. Also, oh. Basuma and Navi. Uh, I thought Basuma was good. I think he's this amazing, great player. Same with Lavia. The guy is 18, 19. It's his first season. People are like, oh, I just think, I don't know, man. It, maybe I'm look, looking at it differently, but I just, I think there's a lot of, a lot if of you looked at um, hype. Bas- Basuma's first game for Conte, I'm trying to remember who they played. And they had him as a six. I, I started and what he kept he played doing. 23 matches. He played 23 matches. Okay. Right, that's credible to me. It's Conte. Yeah, he though. kept driving, he kept driving forward. And, Conte was going ballistic because he didn't want him expressing himself going forward. Stay any six, do not go forward. That was the first bust up reportedly that he had. So yeah. it's about managers and systems and whatnot here. Yeah? Because I hear X saying that he, he was injury, quite injury prone also. Expressions. Indeed, and... I wonder if he felt. Yeah, indeed he's fallen yeah, off indeed, last yeah, indeed he couple of years with friend. injuries. And, he yeah. had an ACL or something, and did he? And who was a but, bad injury? Oh yeah, with Basuma people, I'm not letting one one bad season, like say, oh he's not good. Like no, I would say if Basuma was available, I'd still go get him. What it is with Lavia as well, the age and the price. Because what did you say, Prime? He's 18. 18, 19, and he's, he's been 18, over. 19. He's been overrated. And he, yeah, people... and he's play, He's played at that level, like he's played at a good level. And you can get him on the championship for cheap. That's why I had to go and sign him. And he's only 18. I didn't realise he was oh, that young. The thing is, he's young. Let him just stay at Southampton and play games. From what I've watched from him, I don't... Maybe there's potential there, but it's nothing special where you a top six team should be buying it. Yeah. Fuck all that. So, squad. I'd have him For Christian tomorrow. in the chat, it is alleged Christian in the chat. Benzema is going to Saudi Arabia for a two-year, three hundred and fifty million pound contract. Who blames him for saying no? So he ain't gonna come to United. He's not even an option. Oh, oh sorry, for, ER. sorry, for, sorry for munching sorry. down the mic, people. I thought I was on mute. Yeah, go on, Brian. Yeah, trying to say by Ferguson. Leave Ferguson alone. Leave him at Brighton, and just let him actually develop and play games. If he goes to Man United, that's that's gonna ruin him as a player and no just leave him alone leave these young kids alone and just let them play I fuck all that we need these players prime I don't know what you're talking about I don't Maybe Lavia today Maybe no you Lavia can take Lavia if you want but Ferguson yeah. I'm actually invested in I don't think it's worth it leaving. nah Ferguson's not played actual like a full season so I wouldn't go like Ferguson yet that's just me if you had a full season I'd be like yeah, fairs and to ER United fans Ferguson over Kane. Honestly, who said that? Or did someone say that in the chat and I missed that? And to this year, McCoy says for <laughs> Benzema for one year, okay. Yes, I would have like obviously I know Benz is going Saudi Arabia, I believe. And would they have taken Benzema at Manchester United? Yes. On a free. And we need three strikers. Hundred and ten percent. You take Benzema. Hundred and ten percent. We have no strikers, people. Beckhorse is going back on loan. We're going back to his parent club. Martial can't stay fit, and even when he's fit, he's not good enough. We have no senior strikers. We don't even have no youth strikers. It's not even like there's someone in the reserves or the under-23s or the under-20s or anything like that that you go, yeah. We have no strikers, so yes. Benzema on a free, yes. You got linked with uh, Hodgland, and then the reports also said we were looking at a senior striker as well. A long time. We need three strikers, I've said this. 
You win four competitions, you need three strikers. Well, yeah, we're going to close out um, very shortly, people. Now we only at 95 likes, though. Hit the like button. You lot taking liberties. Mo, what quarter are we in? Because I'm heading over to the Twitch to watch that, people, as we speak. So let me know, please. Yeah, yeah, Benzema quality. Uh, Shah, I'm with it. If United want to go in for Hodgland, cool. It's just all about the price. Well, in terms of his profile, six foot three, pace and power, can score goals, technically decent. He's young. Whatever, man. At the right price, get him here. We need improvement, man. We need players. Simple as that. Because this current team is not good enough. Did Benz really play with Raul and Gui? Has he been around that long? I suppose he has. Jesus Christ. Has been alone. around that long. That's crazy. Yeah, that's nuts. Hey, Elias, happy birthday as well, man. Happy birthday. Well, yeah, people, we're going to close out this Q&A and head over to the Twitch. So everyone who's locked in right now, get over to the Twitch. Obviously, NBA game going on over there. Denver Nuggets, Miami Heat. However, we still answer questions as well. Yeah, I need to go catch the third and fourth quarters then. Yeah, but yeah I love to everyone that. that's locked in. Make sure you check out the upcoming live stream schedule. I've already updated it to next week, Sunday. So what we got coming up today? 4.30 p.m., Monday United podcast. So I'll be discussing all things Manchester United. So I'm debating. It may be the FA Cup final. It may be the fact that we're offering 50 million for Mount, allegedly. Maybe the ownership of probably all of those things as well. So yeah, man, love to everyone who has locked in. So that 4.30 p.m. And then 11.30 p.m., I'll be back doing the most which is now a transfer show, people. So 11.30 p.m., that is the, doing the most. Obviously, for those that know, that's normally the Premier League show. So it's still a Premier League show, but over the summer months, it'll be transfer. And yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. And one last thing as well. I'd said this before. I keep telling you lot, asking about fan calling shows. Every Tuesday, every Thursday, 8.30 p.m. Every Tuesday, every Thursday, 8.30 p.m. on the Sarcasm City TV Twitch fan calling shows people so if you want to call in can i say one thing go. before we go flawless yeah 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 go on yeah for anybody out there right there's this big black diamond man using my personal pictures profile wherever chatting a lot of shit in a lot of other streams i saw him even going after z gold it is not me people i tried to tell Saeed that that man is a mod he is not me but you know so on your lookouts you see Somebody allegedly chatting really erratic shit. Just lose nothing. That's all. And just to clarify for Blue American, the Twitch is the same as the YouTube. Sarcasm City TV. The link is underneath in the description, people. Link is underneath in the description. You download the Twitch app on your phone or wherever you have the YouTube app. Download the Twitch app. Sign up for free email and then the, and then you follow the sarcasm city tv twitch and the same way you watch and comment on youtube is the exact same on the twitch people and like i said that's where fan calling shows will be going on nba watch alongs courtside commentary podcast members q and a's other q and a's plus more all go on pro clubs but that'll be cross platform yeah, yeah yeah twitch sarcasm city tv so make sure you hit the follow button love to you lot as always been a big show Got 96 likes, which means we are going to hit over 100 likes. So big up to you lot, man. As always, man, just continue to support. But please make sure you get over to the Twitch because that's what I'm going to go do um, and watch the remains of this, watch the remainder of this game. Well, yes, people, this has been the Sarcasm City Sports Q&A live on the Sarcasm City TV YouTube. Big up for tuning in. <laughs>